experiment to convert the moving coil galvanometer into voltmeter up to 3 volt apparatus required for this experiment galvanometer a standard voltmeter battery rheostat connecting wires single keys there are three part of this experiment in first part we find the resistance of galvanometer by half deflection method students you are already familiar to the half deflection method that how we can find the resistance of galvanometer by using this circuit diagram in this diagram we have connected battery high resistance box k1 and galvanometer in series also we have connected a low resistance that is called shunt and k2 in parallel to the galvanometer first of all we close only k1 and k2 remain open and then we adjust an even deflection so you can see here in the table of observation and calculation we have observed the deflection at 30th division of the galvanometer and we have offered a resistance of 4800 now to get the half deflection we close also k2 then we apply some low resistance that is parallel to the galvanometer that is called shunt and we get half of the deflection next we prepare two columns r into s and r minus s and we put these values in this formula g is equal to r into s over r minus s here you can see that we get the value of the resistance of galvanometer that is 123 similarly we change the value of the resistance in the circuit and we get other even number values of the deflection to check the half of this deflection we just close k2 and the shunt remain same and we put these values in the formula and we get the value of the resistance of galvanometer we have to take at least four observation and then we have to take the mean of these values for the mean value of the galvanometer second part of the experiment current for full scale deflection now we remove the shunt and the key to and just we have a emf high resistance box galvanometer and key we close the key and we get the full scale deflection that is 30th division and then we find the current you can see here number of divisions on galvanometer that is 30 deflection on the galvanometer that is 30 for full scale a resistance in circuit that is 4800 potential difference at the end of the battery that is 2.9 current through the galvanometer that is equal to i is equal to emf over resistance taken from high resistance box plus resistance of galvanometer we put these values and we get the current through the galvanometer that is 0.0058 now we apply the formula current for full scale deflection that is ig is equal to i over theta multiplied by n in amperes so we get the value 0.0058 amperes now part 3 calculation for series resistance that is denoted by capital r conversion range it's equal to 3 volt external resistance required that is denoted by capital r it's equal to 3 over ig minus g that is resistance of galvanometer we put these values in the formula and we get the high resistance that is required to connect in series with the galvanometer the value of this resistance is 5050 students this is the value of the high resistance that is required to connect the resistance with galvanometer in series and then this galvanometer is converted into voltmeter now we use a verification that either the galvanometer has converted into voltmeter or not for this we use this last circuit diagram in which we have connected a standard voltmeter in parallel to the converted voltmeter that is it is connected with the galvanometer and the high resistance 
and finally we connect with rheostat and rheostat is connected with the battery here we use the rheostat as a potential divider that is we change the potential and then we observe the reading of the potential on the scale of the standard voltmeter and the converted voltmeter now you can see here in the table that we adjust the deflection at 10 to vn of the galvanometer and then we put in the formula 3 over n multiplied by theta here its value is 1 volt so we can say that 10th division of the galvanometer is equal to 1 volt similarly for the 20th division we get 2 volt and for the 30th division we get 3 volt here we can see in the second last column that reading on the standard voltmeter is 1.1 .1, 2.1 3.1 and at the last we check the error or the difference that is 0.1 thank you